she emerged as a giant killer. Is she ready for another kill yet? Well, I'm talking to Amiti MP, this is Priti Irani. Thank you so much for speaking to us. You're ready for the kill? I think that to say ready for a kill is uh, over dramatizing the Amethi <laughs> election. I know that there has been much speculation about the Congress candidate uh, from the constituency. But the last five years have been an ocean of calm for the people of Amethi. And I say so because you know the two years we've had COVID, which means functionally on ground we've had three years of work. But people in Amethi recognize that if not for the Prime Minister and a BJP MP in Amethi, we would have not seen, if Rahul Gandhi was the MP of Amethi, we would have not had vaccines go free for every uh, Amethi citizen. We would have not seen Russian reach uh, every Amethi citizen. Today, 19 lakh people in Amethi receive the free ration from the Modi government. And I believe that people can do the comparison between 15 years of Rahul Gandhi being absent and five years of the Modi government functionally on the ground in every gram panchayat. We can get every work counted today in front of the opposition. So given that we've had a volume of work done here, given, like I said, it's an ocean of calm, because if you drive 40 minutes from here, you'll come to a place called Shukul Bazaar yeah. in Jagdishpur. In 2016, I can recall an incident where uh, they would not allow Bhagwat here in Shukal Bazaar. People would literally, and people who were either the supporters of Congress, there were some who were uh, office bearers of the Congress party, they would come beat up people who would do Bhagwat. Uh, we have a BHL road number one here where um, young girls coming back from tuition classes used to get harassed, literally had their dupattas uh, pulled. Now that is an era uh, during the SP government uh, when Rahul Gandhi was the MP here. Mm -hmm. Post uh, the BJP government coming into the state, post me becoming the MP of Amethi, we've not had such incidents in Amethi. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said that for people it's not only the one and a half uh, lakh families who have received electricity for the first time. Mm -hmm. Four lakh families have received a toilet for the first time in the past five years. Three and a half lakh people have received a water connection for the first time in the last five years. We never had a chief medical officer's office here. Our collectorate is being made, our circuit house is being made, our Zila Nyayale is being made. We are making our first blood bank. Modi ji gave us our first medical college. So doing many firsts. Mm -hmm. But it's surprising for the rest of the world that wasn't a Metis supposed to be this whole VIP constituency where you know we had so many people who were aspirants uh, of the Prime Minister's office or Prime Ministers themselves. Uh, so for people on the ground, it is the Modi factor that is working right now. And that is why I'm not uh, getting very... Uh, super excited as many of my media colleagues are about who the Congress candidate is going to be but from But do you think the fact that they have been maintaining this delay and the suspense is a tad unfair? Historical. Uh, Amethi has created two histories already. One, that in 2019 we defeated the uh, Congress president. If you don't look at only Rahul Gandhi, the individual, but you look at Rahul Gandhi, the office. So we have defeated the first family of the Congress party, but the sitting Congress president lost in Amethi, which had never happened before in the history of Indian politics. The second issue was even after emergency, uh, Amethi never saw a delay in the announcement of the candidate. Mm -hmm. So the delay here now is uh, particularly piquing a lot of interest nationally, internationally, because even after uh, the emergency was lifted, uh, the election fought with the Congress party, they never delayed the announcement of their uh, candidate. So why now? It's a, a topic of conversation. Uh, very but does that make that easier for you? See, uh, there has because I remember, delay. sorry to interrupt, but I remember in Wayanad when you went, you said that just as he left Amiti, he'll leave Wayanad also. I, I'm of the opinion that, uh, as my colleague Mr. Surendran has said, Wayanad is visited often by elephants and not by Rahul Gandhi. And he's not wrong because uh, you need a certain kind of dedication and inclination to public service, which uh, compels you, in fact inspires you to be available 24-7. Uh, you cannot be available only during elections to garner votes or during special occasions only. People, and especially people who are poor, people who are lower middle class, 
they demand the presence of their uh, presence of their public representatives so that their day to day challenges can find some solution and an administrative link mm. so uh, i went to vinar and i said two three particularly important things which i've never received an answer for not that mr gandhi would answer anything uh, what uh, piqued my again curiosity was knowing that pfi is a banned uh, terror organization in the country why did mr gandhi take support from the pfi political leaders like the sdpi i had implored them that uh, if you genuinely believe in the constitution if you genuinely believe and respect uh, security forces who have given their lives to protect our country from acts of terror then please uh, you know respond publicly and reject their offer of support mr gandhi didn't do so in fact he's maintained a studied silence even on what happened in sandesh khali mm-hmm. uh, and uh, now uh, the horror stories that are coming out of bengal uh, it seems sandesh khali is not the only area where women have been uh, brutally uh, sexually assaulted so uh, mr gandhi is a convenient politician uh, picks issues and places of convenience he didn't go to vinar because he wanted to in 19 he was compelled to go now he's been compelled to come to uh, amethi and let's uh, go to the big interview we had of the prime minister and he's made some very important points he spoke specifically about up where he mocked the sp congress alliance the fact that in the samajwadi party the family is now come out across to contest and the pm also says that you look wipe out ho jayenge uttar pradesh sp and congress i think that uh, i will not kind of add i think prime minister was uh, very clear in his uh, position and he is very delicately described the political situation in up uh, if uh, if i am to elaborate on what the honorable prime minister said if you look at the number of times the samajwadi party is changing candidates mm-hmm. that shows you a certain kind of indecisiveness uh, and a certain kind of uh, underconfidence in their own capacities yeah. so when you do that time and again and keep changing candidates that one shows lack of capacity in terms of leadership but it also shows that you actually don't know people that well in those constituencies mm-hmm. let alone know your own karyakartas mm-hmm. so the prime minister is right on the mark when he said that they will be wiped off and also very quickly last two question is that uh, he talks about the fact that the congress manifesto resembles that of the muslim league now the congress says this is a diversionary tactic first two phases ke baad no, no let me just be very clear there is a part of their manifesto which says that uh, they will give muslims everything apart from that very peculiarly they have said public works contracts and we all know cvc rules do not permit contracts to be given on the basis of either religion or caste why is it that congress is proposing public works contracts that can be fixed mm. so in fact the prime minister has called it the muslim league manifesto uh, he sees a reflection of it i also see it as a gotale ka manifesto which political party has actually pronounced that they will give a particular religion mm. public work contracts how does that work mm. in case it is priyanka gandhi vadra and at some point in time you know she takes pot shots at you she talks about the f- talks about the prime minister the mongol sutra issue which again has now become a huge political emotive issue your response to that firstly mrs vadra has been here before you forget that she was in charge of up especially in the vidhan sabha elections yeah so it is not as though mrs vadra coming as a candidate will surprise many people uh, she may want to ride on her name uh, her paternal name but i think that there is a lot of baggage she carries uh, politically and in so far as firing salvos i don't think i'm somebody who's uh, shying away from responses though my responses will be steeped in political and hard facts it may become a bit embarrassing for the family uh, to come back here and then uh, would stand the pressure of the comparison of my 5 years of work and their 15 years of absence and the mangal sutra thing that she talks about that my like mother said, gave huh? like i said i will save all my salvos which will be quite embarrassing for the family when they come here but she said uh, it now at a public platform taking portrait pm so if you're saying that she's going to be the candidate from amethi if you're declaring that then please be ready for some fireworks from here because not only will such salvos will be responded to but the fact that uh, the family has been absent mm. see one of the greatest indications if you truly considered amethi your family they would have been here around corona i was here on the ground i was amongst people including there many congress men and women who needed help i was the one helping here across political lines 
सो समबडी यू कैनॉट टेक केयर ऑफ देर ओन कार्यकर्ता इज इन अमेठी आई एम वेरी वेल प्रिपेयर फॉर एनी मेम्बर ऑफ द फैमिली टू कम यू रॉबर्ट वाद्रा ही से any but what do you make out the fact that robert wadra is open about ki people of amethi want me to fight? it is for uh, it is for mrs gandhi to decide whether her son in law is capable or not politically it's not for me to decide you cannot deny the fact that mr wadra evokes not sympathy not empathy not curiosity but genuinely mockery uh, when his name is taken uh nobody in this country can deny that the understanding about his persona is that he emanates from a position of corruption mm-hmm. but like i said it's for mrs gandhi to decide whether her son in law is capable or not capable it's not for me to decide at all